this we scratch out to it, they will be making a hot bar hot scratch. Hot bar hot scratch. Oops, scratch. Okay. So we have a sprite. Let's dig this inventory. We're not just making a hot bar. We're making a full on inventory, which you can click and grab and drag items. It's going pretty cool, but first let's get our costumes. <coughs> okay. So let me show y'all what costumes we are gonna need. Okay, so you're gonna need an off and on, which basically shows if you've toggled the inventory thing. Your costumes you know which what's gonna show inside and then a grid. Okay. Also guys, this could just be like Okay. So first what we will look is you have your off and on. 46 by 46. Remember that guys. 46 the width, 46 is the height. Oh the first two letters is the you get the idea. Okay, we need to hurry up and start this. So let's make our variables that we're gonna need for the first part. Equipped and inventory. So equipped. Oh whoops, I made a list. And uh, we're not gonna need a quick list, but don't worry. Just don't make it a list. Equipped for this prospects and inventory. Oh wait. <clears throat> Sorry, I met I wait no, no no I think I need the inventory. No, never mind we don't need inventory. What we do need is item Oh sorry, there we catch. Item number for this part only. Or go to the item for this part only. Okay. I'm green fly click set item item number to zero. Say so click to zero. Now let's actually do make a list and we're gonna need inventory because you know we're gonna need inventory do we have inventory i'm just gonna add a few things like okay so we make your inventory <clears throat> make sure it's the exact same including capitals it can't be lowercase a because if it shows lowercase a you add lowercase a but since mine's capitalized i have to put i have to put capitals and here okay this should be good and we're also going to need a new variable called type for this part only. So we're going to set type to 0 0.5. Create clone myself. Let's make a new block called create hot bar at x y. Let's see items. items. So that's going to be how much stuff is in our inventory. So I actually have the formula here because I have it in a different tab. So, I have in my backpack. But I'll show y'all what this is. Okay, so here it is. So basically, what this does is it go, it's gonna take us halfway to the left. Okay, and then whenever we make our items, we're gonna move towards the right. Okay, I don't know how to explain, but uh, here we go. So, we'll replace these with this, you know. Okay, now let me tell y'all something. You see this 46? I got the 46 because the length is 46. Not, I mean, not the height, the width is 46. <clears throat> like, if this is 40 by 41 by 40, I put 41. But it's, it's the cubes, okay? It's the cubes. So, next, what we're going to do is we're going to show set item number to 1. If I'm going too fast, pause the video. I'm trying to keep the video quick and short because there's lots of stuff we need to do. So repeat items. And now you're going to make a new variable called X and Y. So here we're going to delete all of X and Y. And also this is all in one sprite by the way. So we're going to add X position and our Y position to X and Y. Okay, yeah, I think that's gonna do the trick. Now we set type to one. Okay, type to one. Create clone myself. Set type to zero. Okay, so basically increase our type. Change x by, and then this. Size divided by 100 the times your width. Change item number by one, and then we hide at the end. So we're gonna create a hot bar at zero. Negative 150 with items 9. And boom, we have a hot bar. Hot bar. Okay, <coughs> we've been watching for about 6 minutes. I was, hey, well, since, oh, I've been recording for 6 minutes, but with the intro, it's probably been 10. 
Do I start as a clone? We're gonna start with the type equals one. So first forever if type is equal to one. What we're gonna do is first let's go to X and Y. We position ourselves. It's really important that we position ourselves. In case you now. X and Y. So here we're gonna add a minus one. Now both of these we're gonna add a multiplication times two. And then we're gonna add item number, I'm pretty sure. No, 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 wait, yeah, item number, item number, sorry. Next, if, now we're gonna add or, now we're gonna add in here. So we're gonna basically check if we're touching mouse pointer and mouse down, which is the mouse try to select us, or if the number key is pressed. So key, oh, oops, I did this. So if key, what's her length of, Item number of item is pressed. This, the length of item and letter is just a backup just in case you create more than 10 hotbars. Okay, so it's very important that I do a stack. Well, the maximum you can really create is 10 because it's, you know, 1, 2 to 0. So yeah. <clears throat> and this is just in case you know you may have 10. So if equipped is equal to item number, then we're going to say equipped to 0. So that's the Unequip else we say equip to our item number. Status equips us. And then we wait until not pass down. And we also wait until not and then you know key pressed. You get the idea. And that should be it except uh yeah, let's see. Let's let's show the equip. Yep, we're equipping and then if I press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then zero. Okay. But now uh, we want to be able to see if we've toggled it. So it fell. We just copy this here. I mean, y'all should be able to do this for yourselves. We just switch cause you to on and we switch cause you to off. Okay, so now, yep. Uh, now I can select stuff. Pretty easy. Alright, guys, also here we want to repeat items plus one. Sorry about that mistake. Uh, anyways, yes, we got this. Oh, why is it here? Oh yeah, because I have 9, I can set to 10 though. If I set to 10, it's the max width. Yep. So, now uh, we've created our hotbar, but we also want to be able to do is that we have items. So, if type is equal to 2. Like I said, I already had this open before. But, yeah. So, we're just going to go to front layer. Or go, go backward one layer. This is, this is going to be for later on. What we want to do is how we drag, you know, we drag to like change our thing, replace, switch, item, switch cost to item, wait zero seconds, I delete this one. The wait zero seconds allows us to actually see, because if we just delete this code, we wait, but see, but if we wait zero seconds, it'll wait one frame, actually, it'll actually, it'll wait, actually, no, it waits one frame, sorry. <clears throat> and then we'll be able to see within that one frame. So now here, we want to set type to 2, and then I keep on adding a con duplicate, set type to 1, create call myself. Yeah, uh, we set, oh yeah, also we need to set our item. So item 2, item number of inventory, bam. So as you can see, we have our item selected. So if you want to just end the tweet, why is, what is this? Why is this showing? I think this is, wait, hold on, what is this? Oh yeah, it's our type is 405. Okay. So if y'all just wanna like have a hot bar, it's all you need, okay? You don't need to do anything else. But if you do but if you wanna create something like I don't know, let's just say this. With this, and you can drag, you know, I think you've already seen the intro. Like this, because so far we just had the hot bar here. But if you wanna create something like this, continue following the tutorial okay so first you have a type equals 0 for 5 uh, we don't want that anymore so type to 3 now let's see where should I begin we should probably begin with the uh, one when we you know we you know position the, you get the idea let's add a show here so type is equal to 3 we have a create items that we're gonna do later, but first let's switch costume to grid. 
and I'm gonna set the size to 155. So now let's see our grid is there. Okay, now let's create a block called create items. Don't worry about positioning this thing yet. Create items at the place where I'll create it. Uh, I'm gonna create it as 0, 25. Okay, so far it does nothing. Let's start the green flag just in case it bugs. Okay, so this will be some pretty complicated stuff, so pay attention. Now, to X, we let, copy that, okay, because it's going to be very similar, except uh, we're going to repeat 4 and repeat 6, because I'll explain later. First, we got to do this. Set item number to 1. Now, set item to item number of inventory, which we have here. We set that here in the repeat 6, set type to 2, then you want to change our X by a little bit because the reason why is it's just a safeguard, you know. You don't have to add this if you don't want to, but it's going to look weird. Actually, I'm not. I'm just not going to add it so I can show you what it looks like. Um, create clone myself, do our set type back to 3 so that we don't start doing type 2 stuff. And then we change our X, and then we change item number by one. I think if you've been, if you're like a pro scratch, you probably know what I'm doing. But in case you don't, I'm basically doing this so that we're moving here, and then we're creating the items that are inventory left to right, and then we're moving back here by using this here. No, no, no. I mean, actually, yeah. And then we move there, and then there, and then there, and there, and there. So then we change our Y by, oh yeah, also here, um, change Y, now by the height. So for example, if I was using this, I'd change it by 40, not 41. But my mine's a cube, perfect cube, so it'd be 46, so it's basically the same thing. Now then we change our Y by this, times the by 100 times first. And also, uh, we don't need the items, okay. Multiply by 6, 4. Now, what are thinking? Why am I doing 6 and 4? Well, because look, my say grade is 6 by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're doing 6 by 4. Here is going to be 6. And that's also why I did 6 and 4 here, too. Now, if cookie reflect. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, At the end, we want to go to. Oh, we don't want to show on high. We just want to permanently show. I would create items X and Y. I would go to X, X and Y here. And now it's just covering the whole screen. Oh, guys, that's because there has to be uh, this much stuff in the grid. So let's make a new costume that's just blank. Okay, blank. Name it blank. Name it blank, please. Now, yeah, now as you see, it's back to normal. And you see this? Also, guys, this isn't Y minus, it's Y plus. A change Y by zero minus. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, uh, it's a little bit offset, but it's all right. We just gotta change this to 45. I just subtracting one. Yeah, you see, it's fine. So now, just adjust it until it's perfect. You know. So now we have our hot bar. Oh wow, what is this? Why is what is this? But anyways, I just clicked the green flag. It went back to normal. Um, if I add more items to my inventory, peep for yeah. <clears throat> now I got way more items. Now I won't be able to drag these and then switch them around. Like here, if you're in a project, if you just have to drag, we'll just go drag. Nothing special about that. But we want to drag and switch. So first, we'll start here. We gotta hurry up, guys, because this part's the hard part, the longest part. Okay. So first we're gonna need to make a new variable called item and now we're gonna make last item number. Okay. So um yeah that's pretty much all we're gonna need. Wait, no 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 no. So you're also gonna make X for this part only and Y for this part only. So first up here set last item and item to zero. Okay. So here's where the fun starts. So now, if our Y position is less than negative 130, because we don't want the, to be able to drag stuff in the hotbar, because if we want to switch stuff in the hotbar, 
Then all we have to do is grab this because this is literally the hot part. See, banana, apple, apple, banana. So yeah. Then we just wanna stop this. Uh, just wanna delete this clone. Okay. So that'll stop anything other these from happening. Also, if item is equal to zero. Now basically, we don't wanna be able to drag multiple objects because that's gonna just break the game. So then what we wanna do is if mouse down, and touch your mouse pointer, which is we're trying to click and drag. Then we set item to one. So that we know that we're dry, we can't click anything else because I will be one. SB zero. Repeat until not to mouse down. Oh wait, sorry. Repeat until not mouse down, which means we let go of the mouse. We just go to mouse pointer. It's really that simple. And also we want to go to front layers that we're in front of all this stuff. That's why we put uh, the go behind one layers. Go to front layer. Then at the end we set it to zero, which means other things can start being selected. Okay, now there's a bunch of conditions we have to do. But uh, like, because we want to set X and set Y to our X position, Y position. So first what we're going to do is we're going to see which item we're trying to be selected at. So we're going to go throughout. So like for example, if our mouse pointer is at the fifth one, we're going to start here. We're going to go and then we're going to check. Oh, we're at close to fifth one, which means we're trying to go to fifth one. Obviously, it's not going to be that accurate, but it's close enough. So like if we're right here at this apple, we're going to go here and then here and then here. We're like, oh, we're close to here. So then we're going to stop. Let's make a new thing called a new block called check for item X and Y. Rough out screen fresh. Okay. Now let's do create check for item and this is gonna be the same place you put your grid okay because we're, we're checking for a grid now if absolute value of our thing is too far so that means if our x position is too far or our y position is too far we don't want to check for the item you know so we're just gonna delete this clock for y position is greater than 150. That's just for me, okay? Because you see, uh, 200 and uh, 150 for the difference. Um, mm, but you don't really have to add that. You can just add that. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, <clears throat> so now check for item. So let's duplicate the create items thing because it's very similar to this, like very. Okay. So. First, we're gonna set uh, last item number to item number. Okay. Now we, we keep this. We set item number to one. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Except, uh, let's add replace item, item number of inventory with blank. So that when we drag it, it won't stay there. It'll look like it disappeared. Like we're dragging, like, you know, we removed it. Anyways, uh, let's repeat. Five out of six, I guess. Because uh, never mind. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm saying five, four. Anyways, uh, we set type to two. Wait, hold up. Yeah, we set type to two, so it's the same. Change X by. Hold up. This is like very similar. Okay, now here's we need also more math, but uh, I'm not going to do all the math. You see. I'm just going to get it from the project I already had it in. Okay, here it is. So yeah, basically do this. Square root of x minus x variable by x position, the one that we used here. And then, hey, let me just scroll this so that y'all can see. Okay. Y'all see that? Okay. <sighs> we, we gotta hurry up, guys. So if this, this is basically the distance that we are from the mouse pointer when we let go. So if that is less than 65. Also we gotta wait, never mind, never mind. Then we create code by self. I think no 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 we don't create code by self, sorry. And then we're gonna stop the script because we don't need to check for anything else. Now before we do that, let's just check this. We change item number by one. We set type back to two. Hmm. Everything should be normal. In fact, our type was supposed to be two in the first place, so. Yeah, everything's pretty much the same. Oh yeah, we don't need to go to X, Y. Okay, so here, we're going to replace item, last item of our inventory, with 
item, item plus what of inventory. So we're basically gonna switch them, you know. So we're gonna set the one we are now with the other one. And we'll place sorry. And then we'll place this one. We'll place this with item last item number of inventory. So yeah, basically switches them, you know. So that's pretty much it. Um we look at it. So let's try that out. Okay. And it's working kinda weird. Oh sorry, sorry. We have to replace it with item. Okay. There we go. So I think this is gonna work now. So replace we'll banana with the apple and it just deletes it. Okay guys, uh yeah, let's try this. Oh yeah, it's switching. Hey okay, guys, hold on, apple banana. Uh, uh banana with banana. Yep, it goes together. It go it's a little bit you know buggy but like yeah. But for the most part it acts pretty normal. Okay, let's see. Well we could just put costume name here. Here we go. Okay, there we go. This is the last. I like this thing because like the way switching is just so cool. Don't y'all love how you can just switch it like this? Yeah. As you see sometimes stuff happens, but don't worry guys. Um Let's first replace. Uh, we don't want to replace item inventory yet. We can remove that because you can see some blocks were disappeared. All right, guys, this is feature scratch how to. Uh, actually, this is what your code is supposed to look like for the check for item. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, to make it as accurate as possible, see, look, if I put it in the center, it's like really accurate now. So make sure to do this. Also, um, I don't think that's anything else. Yeah, you know. Then we won't just delete it, we'll swap, swap, swap. I I'm pretty sure I can also move it to a different place, right? Hold on, what's just... It's just switching between apples. Yeah, guys, this was the main part that was the hardest, the switching. But, I mean, it's not really that hard anymore. Huh? Guys, I overthought it, you know, this is just the code. Yeah, so. Anyways, uh, if you had some problems, just look back to the video. Or comment down below. Thanks for watching. If you liked, whoops. Okay, guys, uh, please like and subscribe. Guys, we are so close to 250 subscribers. Um, I thought we were gonna hit it a while ago, but apparently we didn't. So I decided to release a video. Yo, guys, please like, subscribe, and share this video with other people, other scratchers, so that they can learn how to make this amazing thing as it helps channel with notifications bell and every one if you're wondering how can i type so fast well that's because if you want to learn like program you gotta be able to type fast you know like you know those written programming languages not code blocks i i i'm learning lua and python i know javascript and some html yeah <clears throat> so yeah guys please like and subscribe Thank you so much for watching this. I saw, because I made a visual inventory video before, and I saw that y'all love that one. Like, y'all have just made that video, like, crazy, you know? Because, like, that video has so many views, way more views than my videos usually do. So, that I decided, hey, why not make something like this, you know? And I love this. It's just so fun to play with. <laughs> and I got this. I'm probably going to use it for, like, future things, future games I'm making. But yeah, uh, bye bye, I'll see you guys next time, have a wonderful day.